You know, it's so nice. I'm out here with James Beaupre, my good fishing buddy. He was kind enough to get his machines and get us out here with a friend of his. And uh, we're targeting whitefish with the chance of getting a lake trout or even a jumbo perch. Whitefish can be really finicky when you're trying to get them. They're either on and feeding or, you know, you can get frustrated because you'll see them on the sonar and you just won't be able to get them. You can see we're using these light outfits. It's kind of nice to use a spinning outfit. I threw my gloves off, but I'll tell you what, it's cold today. The ice is about a foot and a half thick, and I'm slowly trying to inch them. Okay, nice white fish. I'm trying to get them up. Look at, isn't that a gorgeous fish? You know, this is the second fish that came in. The first one didn't hit, and I was using the jig. So what I did was change up to this finesse fish. I'm gonna hold him up. Isn't that a gorgeous white fish? And I'm gonna get him back in the water. There he goes. In the wintertime, I love to target all different species of fish, from panfish on smaller reservoir to walleye and pike on medium-sized lake, and even lake trout and whitefish on big lakes and out in deep water. You know, over the years in fishing different places through the ice, I've used all kinds of augers, from very small, four-inch diameter manual augers to big ones. And then when the ice gets really thick with power augers, you know? And sometimes with the fuel, it's messy and you've got a pull cord that you have to pull and stuff. I gotta tell you, I'm so excited about these new generation of electric augers. This particular one is a lithium powered one. And this one is 40 volts. First of all, you can see it's really compact. And look at, there's the battery right here. You see this block right here? Was that nice? I'm just teasing you. It cuts like it's going through butter. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'll do that again. Pull the trigger, hit the power button. Ah! 